Customer brought it, just expected to be able to take it out of the water, have it repainted and all good. Unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked out that way. We, we have tested it. There's, there's, a, there's so many deep pits that to physically try and weld them up and just fill it with epoxy is not really possible. Again, with a base plate, I should imagine it was quarter inch plate when originally built. It looks now, you know, three or four mil on the edge. And then there's pitting underneath, exactly the same as on the side. So some of those are two to three mil. So it, it's got to be close to going through underneath. I don't need a surveyor to come out and tell me that this boat's virtually scrap. Can we save it? Yes, we can. We can overplate, we can underplate. We've blasted all the corrosion out the way. Then to do the job properly, we need to put like a holding primer around the steel to stop the corrosion coming back. Then we've got to overplate above the water line. We've got to underplate under the boat, you know, and then there's still work to do inside. So we've sort of took it on as a project boat, just so we can show you on videos what we can do, how we can bring boats back to life. Hopefully we can get the engine up and running and get a few bits. You know, you'll be amazed how many companies do actually just overplate on top of bitumen paint, but we won't. What happens if you're welding steel plates underneath and water gets in, the plates start to dish and belly as the water gets higher and higher, and then all of a sudden it can just literally rip out the, the, the side welds and make an awful mess. Let's have a look at what we've done. So, like I said, once it was blasted off, so we got clean material so we can actually weld properly. We put the hull sides on, so that's got six mil plate that's come down onto the original base plate. Then we put six mil steel underneath steel that was already there. A series of holes underneath which had been jacked up under the boat, um, put a weld in so the two skins are actually sealed together. And then we've welded along the six mil steel to the original base plate. So that's all sealed in. And then where we put an overhang on the um, base plate outer skin, and then that's been sealed to the original base plate as well. So it's sealed all the way along the hull side, and then it's sealed all the way the two base plates. Um, and then with a puddle welding underneath, there should be no way that water can get it actually in between the two skins. You can't weld onto all the old algae and, and the years and years of contamination and without blasting it first it's almost impossible to seal it properly because we've shot blasted it all properly first it's clean steel you can see the welding's pretty neat and tidy so i know i'm going on about shot blasting but it will go back down to the shot blast shed where we'll blast off all this mill scale and then we'll put the two pack epoxy on there because it's been done properly like this, the hull really is probably, I wouldn't say as good as, as a new build, but it, 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 with the epoxy system, you should be able to leave it at least three to four years without taking it out of the water. Obviously where the water line's higher, we put an extra plate in there just to make sure we're covered all the way under the water line. On the top, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to be blasted off back to white steel and then we're going to put an epoxy primer on there as well. You can see the, the seams originally, the welding was very poor all over the boat. So again, we vertically welded that, so we've sealed the hull up. To be honest, I was quite surprised I had quite a few people interested in it because they know now the hull is in good condition. They know they haven't got the expense of taking it out of the water every sort of 18 months to make sure that it's not getting any worse. So we're going to shot blast the top and we're putting it in primer and then the customer's going to finish the project from there. So he doesn't mind now spending some good money on the inside because he knows the hull's in good condition. If you'd done all the work on the inside and the hull wasn't any good, then obviously it, you're wasting your time and money on the inside. You know, I mean, there's no reason now why the hull's in good, it, it should last uh, upwards of 10 to 15 years quite easily on the thing and the maintenance cost will be fairly low on an old boat whereas a boat of this age normally is constant constant maintenance so 
that's where we're at on this boat. And I say we're going to shot blast it, finish it, and prime it, and then the customer's going to take over from there.